Listen, no use of alcohol or beverages. So you can't break any of those rules. My employer, Greyhound, gives me the authority to relieve you of that seat right away. So please, please don't do it, and I won't have to do it. Secondly, in case of emergency, our windows can be used for emergency exits, including these front two. Don't worry about those, I'll kick those out. Put the windows in bar, pull it down on the little red handle, push the window out, out the safety zone. In case of a rollover, there's an emergency hatch up in the front near me. There's an emergency hatch in the back near the restroom. <laughs> In case of a fire, there's a fire extinguisher up here out of this young lady and this young man to the right of me. If you need to use a restroom, there's a restroom in the back for your convenience. All I ask you to do is to please, please hold on to the back of the seat or the overhead luggage bins so that you do not lose your balance. As this coach tends to jerk while in motion, got a cell phone, those old noisy cell phones. Do everybody a favor, including yourself. Put them on vibrate, put them on vibrate right now so that you don't disturb anyone trying to get them some rest on their way to Cincinnati. If you happen to be on phone conversations during our trip to Cincinnati, make sure the conversations between you and the person on the other end. I'll tell you what the person next to you won't tell you. We don't want to hear it. We don't want to hear it. We just don't want to hear it. We shouldn't have to hear it. You got a playback device back there. Make sure you use your earplugs so that you don't disturb anyone trying to get some rest also. If you're having to be too loud back there, I have no problem telling you you're too loud. That's my job. All good hound coaches are equipped with electrical outlets, Wi-Fi most of the time. Our next stop is Cincinnati, Ohio. We're supposed to be arriving like 1.30 in the morning. Well, everybody, everybody will have to exit the coach. Everybody, nobody can stay on in Cincinnati because the next driver has to pre-trip the coach. Make sure that everything is safe for you guys on your way to Detroit. This is a Detroit schedule. So the people that are getting off of Cleveland, Columbus, New York, you guys will get exit the bus, grab everything that belongs to you on top and bottom, and transfer it over to the next coach. I already told you guys, you're going to be at gate 7 for Cleveland, Columbus, New York. Detroit, we're going to park you at gate 5 or gate 6. And you will return to the same coach. They're going to clean the coach up for you guys. Make sure everything's smelling good, better, smelling good, you know. All that type of good stuff. Clean the trash off. But it'll be even more helpful if you guys take the trash that you bring on with you. Take it with you. Like I told my folks before, if you're scared of speed, go to sleep. Because I'm going to roll it like a story. <laughs> but I'm going to make it to Cincinnati. We're supposed to be at 1.30. We should be there by 1.30. Sit back and enjoy the ride. And as always, thank you for riding the ground.